Ringo! Psst! Ringo! It is Gregna! We are here for, for combat! Well, actually, we're not here for combat quite yet. Hello, welcome to the Avengers of Gregna. Where today? Uh, first things first, a lot of people pointed out in the comment section yesterday that Grigna might have left some whiskey on the side. Uh, my bad. I'll, I'll be honest, I thought it would have been stealing and completely ignored the fact that we could take it. So that is now squarely in Grigna's pocket, and Grigna will celebrate this acquisition of whiskey by drinking the whiskey he has acquisitioned. Uh, mm, delicious. Plus one charisma, minus one intelligence, plus one strength. It makes no difference. You have gained the Hercules perk as a re Oh! You've gained the Hercules perk as a result of your strength being above 10. From 11 strength and onwards, each added point in strength will increase your melee weapons by 5 points and carry weight by 3. Who says that drinking alcohol is bad? Wow, good work, Grigna. So, many people have criticized Grigna that he is not quite a good barbarian. Specifically, lots of people want Grigna to take off his clothes. Uh, I agree. Uh, it doesn't seem very befitting of, uh, what does a leather armor look like? Let's have a look here. The only reason, oh, that looks terrible. The only reason Grigna was wearing this jumpsuit is because it made him better at hitting things. See, that doesn't look very barbarian either. But luckily for you, I have set something up. Now, I mentioned this a couple of episodes ago, but I went onto the workshop and downloaded everything with the word barbarian in it, including barbarian weapons and armor. And I have a feeling somewhere here in Good Springs, I believe, no, uh, somewhere. <laughs> Give me a second, we'll find it. Apparently, somewhere in Good Springs is, in fact, uh, some barbarian armor for us. I don't know how good the barbarian armor is. I don't know if it's uh, even remotely viable. But we will see if we can find it. Is it in here? <gasps> He-Man suit. <gasps> in the He-Man box! This could be the one. Holy shit. Uh, He-Man suit. Melee weapon plus 30. Oh, shit. Oh, no. <laughs> Wait, damage threshold of 65? Bruh. Oh, my God, though. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. It looks incredible. It doesn't quite match his... Um, Oh, they didn't quite do his fake tan right, did they? Poor Grigna. Oh my god! Oh shit! <laughs> That's incredible! Uh, problem. Problem A. Uh, obviously because this is some random workshop item, it's uh, hideously imbalanced. The armor value that we had before was one. I mean, to be fair, it's the lowest armor value. You can get the damage threshold there. On the leather armor, it's four. On the He-Man suit, it's 65. It also gives 20 damage resistance and 30 melee weapons and strength plus one. It's cool, but holy fuck is it broken. So let's, let, let, look, uh, as fun as that would be and as on brand as that is, that will just make the game comically easy, which I'm fine with, but we have another option. Uh, and, and I have another suggestion for what we can use the He-Man armor with. Uh, also, I'll only play it daytime because I was watching yesterday's video back and my god, it was so dark when we were trying to fight those geckos. You could barely see Grigna in action. You no longer have the Hercules perk. Oh, the alcohol's wearing off. Oh, Grigna has quite the headache. Oh, right. Let's wait till like uh, kind of midday a little bit more. Oh, that's fine, I suppose. There is other barbarian armor. However, the other barbarian armor will take Grigna on an epic quest. An epic and almost impossible quest. Because that barbarian armor is in a nearby tribal village. Which is uh, roughly over here somewhere, if I remember correctly. Uh, I think it actually might be exactly here. So that's where we're going to head to. The problem is, on this route to this tribal village, there are monsters. There are monsters the likes of which Grigna could not possibly deal with. So what we could do is we could wear our barbarian armor so that we can fight our way to the... Uh, through these monsters so that we can get... <laughs> oh, he looks ridiculous. <laughs> Grigna will, will take on the, this mantle, this hideous strength, so that he can get to the other barbarian armor that will hopefully, fingers crossed, be slightly more balanced. And then, here's my idea, when Grigna gets a companion, a worthy warrior friend, we give our companion this armor. Because there are, there, there's one good melee companion in the entire game. And even they're quite situational. So if we can, we could take just a regular, hmm. 
I'm sure this says something very interesting. It's a shame that Grigner cannot read with his one intelligence. There is, uh, there's a lot of companions in this game. Unfortunately, none of them are good at melee. So we could give this ridiculous over-the-top armor that gives Grigner quite the thickness. We give that to Grigner's companion. That way we can fight with melee and our companion can fight with melee. And we can fight together. Red for the color of blood, as in Grigna will have a great battle across these hills. If you remember, Trudy told us to go uh, basically any direction besides this one to uh, get to Vegas. Why did she tell us to do that? Grigna is not sure. Grigna does not remember much. There is a, a bog. Grigna will not be stopped by a bog. Oh! Holy shit! Even with the OP armor, these bugs still hit fucking hard. Holy shit. Wow, they do hit hard. Grigner. Okay. So those are Kazadors. <laughs> For those of you who haven't played before, uh, Kazadors are frightening. Uh, frightening, and they are powerful. And they will uh, seriously do us in. Someone clarified that if we drink like four in a row like I just did, it should stack and give... Well, it does just say HP plus one, but it should give HP... It should give four HP per... However long that effect lasts. We don't seem to be healing up very fast, though, do we? I ask if that person in the comment section is entirely sure. Shit. Um, what does a doctor's bag do again in uh, not hardcore mode? Remind me, it just fix all limbs, right? Yeah, restore all body parts. Oh, man. Let's just eat whatever we can, Grigner. Oh, we've got beer. Silly me. We'll make sure we eat that. Uh, the fruit does nothing. Not unless we do something with it, like combine it with something else. Oh, shit. Medics gives us some damage resistance. Fuck it. Remember what I said. Grigner is here for a, a good time, not a long time. He will drink all of the drinks. There's a crow eating that man. Oh, fuck. Oh, Grigner. Oh, what a hit. We did get poisoned again, though. Man, I can't use another anti-venom already. Oh, but the Kazador poison absolutely annihilates us. I am genuinely, genuinely surprised that this armor... I, I'm not, like, overblowing it here. This armor is very, very overpowered. I am actually blown away that it... Can we survive the poison? We can just about... Oh, yeah, that, that means that we're taking damage. Uh, well, funnily enough. <gasps> there are actually so many Casadors. This is unbelievable. Okay, well. Jokes aside, <laughs> we might not be able to make it to the other barbarian armor. Oh, shit. This was supposed to be Grigna's epic quest. Grigna's not going to make it. Oh, these fucking Casadors. Okay. Wasteland Settler outfit. Ah. Let's go a little bit further. I'm fairly certain the place we need to go is down here. Can you see any? Yeah, there it is. It's right there. That's where we're trying to go. That little village. I was way out. Oh, fuck. Is that Casador seeing us? No. Do you think we can rush in, get what we want to get, and then get out? But I don't know where it is, though. Oh, shit. Okay, burn body. Once again, his head doesn't quite match. Ah, oh, you have the same problem as Grigna. Oh, fuck. Oh, I don't like the bugs. Oh, delicious fruits. Shit, look at the amount of Cazadors. Madam. Oh, God. Holy shit. Okay, well, I mean, look. Somewhere in there is the armor that we need. To make Grigna. Grigna Supreme. Fuck. I, I mean, do we have any explosives? We don't. <laughs> we do not. Oh, shit. We got a golf club. Can we mod the golf club? We can't. We can't mod the greatsword. We can't mod the machete. We can modify the shovel. Great news for Grigna. Give me my give me my greatsword back. Um, How in the fuck are these Cazadors still strong enough to get through this armor, though? What can we do here? There has to be something I can tell. Let's take some more medics. Drink the water. Uh, eat the stale stew. <laughs> Drink the sarsaparilla. And 
Um, it, plus 10 unarmed, we could box our way through them. Oh, it's not going to do nearly as much damage, though, is it? Fuck it. Should we, just, should we just, just beeline it? Dash in, get the item, get out. Ready? Okay. Grigna. Grigna, this is for glory. Yeah. Hello, what have you got? Okay, okay, ready? Take it slow. Right, we're looking for, we're looking for somewhere where, oh, don't poison me! Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Oh, shit. Is that it? Oh, I think that's it! Ah! We haven't got any anti-poison, but we know where it is now. Oh, Christ! You ignorance very sleepy. <laughs> well, we tried. Okay, we know where the jar is. It's right in front of that. Are we going to be able to outrun them even if we do grab the stuff, though? Uh. Uh. Oh, shit. I don't think we're going to be able to get in it. Look, let's, let's just eat whatever else we can. Give us the best fighting chance. Give me all that gecko meat. Um. Okay. Okay, here we go, team. Here we go. We dash in, grab the stuff out the jar, run away. Wait, what's loot but, like, open a menu? Because if we can open the menu, that'll pause the game. Uh, R is open. Got it, got it, got it. Okay, okay, okay. Here we go, Grigna. Oh, get your head in the game. Come on. Oh, Grigna time. Right, that's, that's, that's our target. That jar right there. So let's give him a wide berth. They're moving, they're moving, they're moving, they're moving. Grigna, in. In, in, in. Open the jar, Grigna. Grigna! Okay, well, that's what we're after. Oh, it's very good. It's not as overpowered as this. Barbarian Club? Oh! Shit! Um... I don't think that'll help. <laughs> I think we're dead. Fuck! Yeah, we're dead. Oh, we can't survive the poison. Look at the size of that sword. What the hell was that? <laughs> well, that's not even more ridiculous than I thought. We've got to get in and grab it and get out before they sting us once. Otherwise, we can't do it. I might have to reload to before we've used an anti-venom. Oh, man. Okay, we can do it. We can do it. We can do it. I believe. I believe. Have they seen us from here? They have. They have. They have. They have. Run. Oh, we're already hit. We're already fucking dead. That's all it takes. Is it, though? Is it, though? It's survival of the Grignist. Oh! Fuck! We got poisoned again! Are they right behind us? Oh, shit, Grigna. Is the poison going to wear off or are we going to die again? No. Shit. I did not think we can do it. Come on. Ah. Okay. Um. Max health. I think even from max health, they're going to kill us. So we've just got to somehow get in, grab it, and get out before the Cazador sting us. I'll try it once more. This may be a treasure for Grigna later in life. Oh, you motherfucker. Even sprinting, we can't outrun them. All right, I'm sorry. I think we're just going to have to forget it. Or we've got we've to gotta come back when we've got anti-venom. Because we can't... I mean, these Kazadors are just so powerful. Even with the broken-ass armor, they're just so powerful. God damn. And that's intentional, by the way. Kazadors are intentionally supposed to be, like, horrifying bugs. They are. They are. Grigner is very scared. <laughs> well, we'll go back to that later then. Never mind. I tried. I tried my best. Let's do it. Now, Grigna wants to pay his debts to the people of Good Springs because they saved Grigna's life. But after that, the world is the world is Grigna's. We're free to go and be whoever we want, where we want, how we want. Maybe we get a companion and we come back for that stuff. Now, Grigna's not allowed to use guns, but there's no reason Grigna's companions can't. Ringo. So what's going on? Did Sonny agree to help us? Sonny is with us, Ringo. Well, I guess that means we're ready to go. Unless you think there's something else you can do. <laughs> no, <laughs> that's not. All right, I'm ready. I hope. Greg now had a horrible run-in with some... Time to look alive. Oh. The Powder Gangers are here to play. Oh, they're here already. How many are there? At least six. Oh, God. Joe Cobb included. They look pretty mean. They're not as mean as the Cazadors. I'll be set up near the store. 
Let's hope that the gang doesn't manage to make it that far. Agreed. We'll be down in a second. I was just seeing if there was something I've missed. Uh, maybe some, like, expired stim packs. We still... Never open. You know, oh, shit. I was hoping we could bash it open. All right, here we go. Here we go, Grigna. There they are. Powder gangers. They're hostile straight away. Okay, here we go. Good luck, squad. There's Easy Pete himself. Stand back. Let Grigna deal with this. Oh my god, have we actually just got to sprint in here? Do it. Oh! For Doc Mitchell! Die! Not enough? Die! Oh my god, we are not doing as much damage as I was hoping for. Oh, oh shit! Yes! We decapitated someone! Murderer! Yes! Off with your arm, Joe Cobb! Idolized! Renowned for your extensive support and goodwill, you were idolized with the community of Good Springs. Yes! Are they all dead? Grigna killed the lot. And everybody survived. You shall know the name Grigna. Be gone. <laughs> wow, what have they got then? Any money? Oh, a stealth boy's good. I owe you a huge favor for this. Here, these are technically Crimson Caravan funds, mm -hmm. but I know they'll understand once I explain things. Grigna is pleased. Uh, Grigna thinks... Look, let's not push it. These people saved our life. We'll be a bit more, you know... Treasure hungry barbarian in future towns, but we need someone to like us. Grigna, Grigna, thanks you. I'll stick around for a bit longer, but I'll be gone in a few days. If you ever visit New Vegas, look me up at the Crimson Caravan camp. Thank you, Ringo. We're back to looting. Uh, I'll be taking that. What have they got then? We could take this and replace our current armor. It does give melee weapon. We lose plus five melee weapon, but we gain a lot more in. Uh... Bearing in mind, we're still using the ridiculous over the top armor. <laughs> I could rebalance it to be a bit more fair with kind of early game armors, if you want me to. I think that could be good. Man, we really did a fucking number on these guys, huh? Holy crap. I mean, they weren't armored either. They had, like, suit jackets, baseball caps, and someone more or less butt naked. Cowboy hat. Cowboy Grigner confirmed. So, I mean, it's not really much of a surprise that we were able to cut through three of them there with one swing. Holy crap, we did an absolute number on them. That was all six, right? Yeah, we've looted them all too. We cut three down in a single slice of Grigna's big sword. <laughs> Cowboy Grigna. Let's do it. Ah, oh, there you go. Perception plus one. Thank you. And that, you know, that could be a... Oh, that's a pa faction armor. Right, yes. So that'll make us look like a powder ganger. We probably don't want to look like a powder ganger. Wow, this is a fucking look, huh? We're not really fierce and barbarian. We're a little more YMCA, but that's okay. Grigna does not discriminate. It's hard to find love in the wasteland. Hello. That'll teach the powder gangs to avoid good springs in the future. Well, while Grigna's here, yeah. I need to get to Prim. Sure can. Take the road southeast out of town till it hits the freeway. Prim is the town with the roller coaster straight south. Can't miss it. Prim is the town. NCR patrols do a good job of keeping the highway clear. But I'd keep your gun where you can reach it easily. You never know who you'll run into. Grigna does not use the gun. Off the road, you'll probably start running into hostile wildlife. My advice would be to stick to the highway when you can. Hostile wildlife doesn't sum it up. Uh, thank you. Perfect. So, Prim, if you remember correctly, is the place that, uh, the note told us we accepted a job to deliver a platinum chip from. So that's where we'll be heading. Bart, barkeep. Grigna would require a drink from you in return for services of saving this town. I'm glad that business is over. I like it when Good Springs is nice and quiet. You're a, a bartender. Does Grigna get a discount? Got a special discount for you. Excellent. After what you've done for us. Grigna is pleased. Grigna has a lot of money. Uh, cheesy poofs. Oh, I'm sold. I would take all of your alcohol, madam. Uh, fresh carrot. No way. Meeting people. That's a fair point. So Grigna could read a book, and these books will give us skills that we might need to pass certain checks. Uh, given that Grigna is a fucking idiot, uh, he's as smart as a boot, we might need to buy some of these books to allow us to be able to do, you know, certain things. Moonshine. Grigna is pleased. Rum and Nuka. Ooh. 
Ooh. Plus one strength, plus one agility, rights, plus two. Sold. Scotch. Vodka. Whiskey. Wine. <laughs> Greg Norris broke. <laughs> I'll take your books as well, because those are actually uh, very good. Ah, thank you. Uh, in return, Grigna will maybe sell you some things. A revolver, a 9-iron, a baseball bat. Baseball bat, I bet we can mod, so I'm actually going to keep it. Cleaver? I don't think we need that. The dynamite. Grigna will keep the dynamite. Grigna is uh, an idiot. He's a pig-headed idiot. But I think explosives are kind of on brand for Grigna. Machete? Doesn't seem quite right for Grigna. We'll keep the shovel. You can take these shotguns. This is a great trade. Explosives, ammo, armor. In return, beer. <laughs> as much beer as a Grigna can carry. You can take all this ammo too. This is yours. Oh, this is misc. No, 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 no. My bad. I saw that a .357 Magnum and I thought that's got to be ammo. Take this ammo. Grigna has no use for such puerile things. I <laughs> completely bought all of her supply. It's a dry town now. Prohibition. Thank you. Another satisfied customer. Grigna is be very careful. satisfied for today. God, what a what a unit. What a beast of a man. Third person is also very cursed. I would never play in third person. Be gone. That's Easy Pete's chair. To wrong Easy Pete is to wrong Grigna. So what was it we needed to pull that sword out of the stone for the beginnings of Cyber Grigna? It was 75 melee weapons. And if this armor, a temporary armor, we're not going to wear it forever. If it gives 30 melee, if I'm not mistaken, we just pass it. We're at 80 now. Grigna shall retrieve that sword from the stone. Yangtze Memorial. I, now, look, everybody is, is gonna be... Oh, oh, the alcohol wore off again. Oh, my eyes. Give it a second. Grigna had one too many. I feel like the depth of field is enabled again. It has. Very annoying. Grigna will take your mysterious sword. Rising sun... Oh, okay. I'm also going to rob these graves while we're here. <laughs> Greg is going to rob these graves. Sorry. Bobby pin, microfusion cell, laser rifle, microfusion cell, skin outfit. We'll take that and sell it. Thank you. Well, what does this rising sun do then? So this one, 71 DPS, rising sun, 132. We repair it with a laser rifle. What the hell? We can mod it. Oh, it, it can't mod that one. Can we mod the baseball bat? You can't mod the baseball bat. That seems a really obvious one for modding, right? Okay, what does this do then? Oh, Grigny, you fucking weeb. I mean, it looks cool. What does it do? Ha! That's it. It's just a katana. I thought it might, um, like, fire a laser beam. You know, like that sword. The, the blood skull sword from Skyrim. You swing it, and it fires a laser in the direction you swing it. So it's just a kind of one-handed katana. Next to Grigna's mighty pecs, it does seem a bit pathetic. Grigna has no time for such baby swords. It does way more damage, but it's about the appearance, you know? Grigna has a very specific look he's aiming for. He's a very vain man. So we want to head to Prim, which is directly south of Good Springs. Uh, we could just go from the source, because it's like, it's like right there. Randall and Associates will pop in while we're in the neighborhood. Let's go from the source. Now, we're looking for anti-venom. We're also looking for a companion to maybe bait the uh, Cazador out. Save us a little time. We really should heal. Really, there's a lot of things we should be doing right now. Grigna's in not such a good place. Can we sleep? Does that heal us? I think it does, does it? Um, We could just drink. None of it heals us, though. Shit. Alright. A little bit blurry. Don't worry. I see if sleeping heals us. I'm pretty sure it doesn't, but I'll give it a go regardless. It does! Oh, shit! Well... That's handy. That's really useful. Who is this man in the road? Hold there, citizen. Grigner is here to speak. We can we can go to Jean, John, Jean. Las Vegas is over to that side. Hello. Peace, traveler. Peace. Uh, who are you? Just a hunter out here killing things and hoping their hides fetch more than the bullets cost to kill them. Oh, do you want anything to trade? That's a dangerous question. Ask the way a bandit might ask. But since we're close to town, I'll trust your good intentions. What are you talking about? I could use some stem packs. How about some nice bloat fly steaks in trade? I could use some stem packs, though. Whoa, he's got some cool stuff. A lot of, a lot of meat could be quite handy. 
with some fancy ass bullets. I don't know what any of this stuff means because I'm not American. Uh, I vaguely am aware what hollow point means. I don't know what plus P means. So would you like a cheesy poof? What the? What? Oh, he's bugging out. And when I say bugging out, I don't mean like, as in like a bug, like a game bug or a glitch. I mean like he's freaking out, by the way. You good? What's he eating there? Oh, he's not. He's not eating anything. We could slice him in half and take his things. Is Grigna that type of person? I think Grigna right now is very cautious of the world. We don't want to make enemies. We should take things a bit more, a bit more carefully. Gene skydiving. Hello? Is this Gene skydiving? Very dark in here. Uh, what have you got? <gasps> Alcohol? Oh, empty. Sunset sarsaparilla star bottle cap. Hello. And then we've got a key there too. Look. Gene Davis's sky key. Okay. I assume that unlocks one of these. Uh, one of, oh, this one probably. Hey, very nice. Boxing tape. I could be persuaded. <laughs> I won't lie. I really could be persuaded to become a, a boxer. Someone took great offense to my comment about uh, brass knuckles being shitty. They're shitty for damage, kind of. Uh, but they're not bad for... I'm just going to take everything. Just occur to me, like, why am I worried about inventory space? Might as well take what we can carry, right? And then bin the rest when, we, uh, when we're full up. Grigna does not like the idea of skydiving. Found you. Uh -huh. ah! <laughs> Shit. Powder gangers. Sneaky Grigna. Oh! <laughs> die! <laughs> oh! They're throwing dynamite at Grigna. They blew their friend's body to pieces. Oh. <laughs> that was good. That was good. Excellent work. Okay. This is going to be fun. I like that. Uh, Cleaver, sure. We'll take anything of any sort of value that we can sell on. Thank you, my friend. Grigner is having a good time with this big, silly sword. This is good. Single shotgun. Any bullets? Bullets, of course, have quite a lot of value here in the... In the wasteland, because there there is a there is a gun factory still active in uh, Vegas proper. What does it count as stealing if we steal from the powder gangers? Very silly. I'm stealing anyway. We lose karma for it, but I'm Grigna wouldn't care. Grigna does not care if he loses karma for stealing from the powder gangers who tried to blow him up. Why would Grigna give a shit? If we lose karma, we lose karma. There's a lot of flies out there. Grigna is above hunting small insects. <gasps> Casual wear. A Braxo cleaner. I don't even want these. Alcohol? Nothing. <laughs> Grigner is on a, a permanent quest to find alcohol. Two switchblades. Useless. Okay, keep an eye out for more powder, gang, this squad. They might be a threat to Grigner. No armor can deflect dynamite to the toes. Shit. Grigner has been spotted. Ah, oh, it's a problem of being so goddamn ripped. Had enough? Oh! Die! Nice, good hit. Oh, that was a line of mine. Good hit, Gregna. Was it safe? Are we good? <laughs> What's that? Oh! I thought it was loot. Oh, I thought it was loot, and I've just broken one of our limbs. What did we break? Oh, he's broken his leg. We could doctor bag it, but we'll see if we've got some... Uh... Oh, stim pack. Yeah, I was about to say, let's see if we can find some stim packs. God damn it. So, in Fallout 3, the landmines look like just landmines. I don't care if we're stealing. The landmines look like landmines, but in this, apparently there's some variety to it. The NCR, uh, North Carolina Republic, North California Republic. That'd be bizarre, wouldn't it? North uh, California Republic are the kind of, not necessarily the good guys, but they're the kind of uh, the law and order around these parts. Not many patrols out here lately, it means not much loot. Our crew is thinking we should make a move soon. Follow the tracks up north, head to the strip. You in? Ain't on the chain gang anymore, but we gotta stick together. So the powder gang is, uh... I think someone in the place anyway told us that they had been brought in by the NCR to work on the, the railroads. But the powder gang is a criminals. Okay, getting a little dark, but I think we're okay for a while. I gotta turn it down a bit. Sorry, my bad. It was very loud in yesterday's episode. Let's put it to like 75%. Hopefully that won't be quite so booming. Dialogue and explosions in combat, especially. 
Especially being very loud. Oh, fuck. Have I got to keep my eyes on the road then? God bloody damn it. Well, I don't remember this being a thing. I remember the landmines, but I don't remember the... Oh! Raw food has worn off. Oh, it gave us, like, food poisoning. Can we go in this? Pretty sure we can go in this. Oh, no. I think it was somewhere else. Oh, shit. Oh, Grigner is stuck in the pipe. God damn it all to hell. Hey, Grigner is free. Unbelievable. Grigner could have toggled collision, but Grigner's powers are uh, questionable. I didn't want to break immersion. What the hell is even that? That's a fucking gecko again, isn't it? Oh, Lord. Now, we have dynamite, as you can see in the bottom right-hand corner. Throwables, like dynamite. Somebody suggested javelins for Grigner, because those are a melee weapon, I agree. Uh, those we can hotkey, which isn't normally an effect in New Vegas. Haha, <laughs> pathetic gecko. You are nothing to Grigner now. With one of the mods, we can hotkey it, and we can throw them with G. So if things get really out of hand, we can just lob some lob some dynamite. I would love to rest for a while, but that gecko is being a bit of a dick. Okay. No enemies around? Let's rest until daytime. The Grigner can see where he's going. But I think today has been very productive. Fancy Oh my god! Hello there. Malcolm it's Holmes. Nice to see a friendly face. I almost took you for a raider. No, I almost raider. sliced you in half. Name's Malcolm. Malcolm Holmes. Don't suppose you'd care to trade. I'm missing a few essentials and... Ah, oh, screw this. Lying just ain't in my nature. I'll tell it to you straight. I've been following you for a good bit now. He's a little quiet now. I'll turn him up afterwards again. Do not follow Grigner. You will live longer. Okay. You're a dangerous sort. I get that. But I have some information I think you'll find useful which made me follow you for a spell. It started off innocently enough. I was traveling, as I often do, and happened to observe you picking up one of those blue star caps. You didn't show any reaction to it, no. so I figured you didn't know what you'd gotten your hands on. Grigna picked up that star cap indoors. What are you picking up Grigna for? You trying to see his thick ass? Fine. Just do me a favor. If you find more of those things and plan on keeping them, watch out for a man named Alan Marks. He's killed more than a few people to collect as many of those caps as he can. Hmm. And your ignorance as to what they are won't protect they you. They are valuable, you say. They are valuable, my friend, and you seek these stars. Could it be? We're going to use an attack called Mauler, which is a special attack with the sword. Could it be? Oh! Oh my god! <laughs> Grigna, what was that? We fucking launched him. Could it be that you are the villain? Okay, he wasn't the villain, but he does have six star bottle caps. So, it had you not been paranoid, Grigna, who's already been shot, a vicious idiot man, you could have perhaps spoken to Malcolm Holmes to find out that, in fact, the star bottle caps are a key to a great treasure. And so... Malcolm Holmes was perhaps after our star bottle cap. As far as I recall, you don't see him again after he, uh, trying to eat that cockroach. After he approaches you the first time, as I recall, you never see him again. Oh, we killed 50 enemies with melee weapons, apparently. I don't normally kill Malcolm Holmes. So I thought I'd enjoy playing this big, drunk, barbarian character the way he should be played. A man was stalking us for days. He watched us inside a building pick up a star cap and then stalked us while we slept. Cutting him in half was the only logical solution to Gregner. No, Gregner doesn't know what logical solution means. He's, a, he's an idiot. The man's an idiot. I mean, look at him. <laughs> Imagine approaching this as it slept. What's wrong with you? Hey, where the hell do you think you're going? Prim is off limits. Do Gregna will slice you in half as well. It's your ass. Don't say you weren't warned. It is Gregna's ass. It's a fine ass. Look at this ass. <laughs> it is a fine ass. Prim. So we've been warned not to come into Prim by the NCR man. Interesting. 
But this is where the man who gave us the job to deliver the chip that got us shot in the head is. The Platinum Casino Chip. Same type as you would get playing poker. Hmm, I get the feeling he's not in this side of town. Let's have a poke around a bit. Good morning, sir. Grigner is looking for... Oh, I don't remember his hey. name, actually. I was going to say Malcolm. No, no, Grigner has never met a man called Malcolm in his life. When I got this assignment, I was hoping there'd be more gambling. <laughs> no comment. Okay. Uh, empty... Oh, Grigner's worst enemy. Explosives. Oh, are, are, we, are we able to detonate... Uh, uh, to disarm them? Grigner's an idiot. Oh, God. We can disarm them. Uh, I didn't know if you needed a minimum explosive skill to be able to disarm them. Don't forget, Grigner is a man of the land. He's probably come across many explosives before and learned the hard way how to disarm them. Okay, what's in here? Hello? Escaped convict. Oh, dear. Our pit boy is telling us there's an escaped convict there, and they are having to have the uh, distance advantage on poor Grigner. Okay. <laughs> I feel like sneaking is not in Grigner's nature. Trying to sneak upon these powder ganger, but the clap of my cheeks keeps alerting them. <laughs> okay. Sneaky Grigner. Here we go. Fuck. Well, God damn it, Grigner, you and your gigantic cake. Oh, nice. Never. <laughs> I'm playing chivalry. Construction hat. Field jacket, stim pack. I'll be taking that one. Uh, are they worth anything? Not really. We might as well take it because we have such massive strength. We can carry as much as... Uh, just like a ridiculous amount. We might as well carry as much as possible. Excellent. What is this? Letters. No letters for Grigner. Hello? Nobody here. Whose house was this? Is it a deputy someone's residence? Well, this does count as stealing. Would Grigner care? No, it really makes you think. Ooh. Grigner can pick this one? Really? Oh, it's very easy. Grigner has read about this in a magazine. Grigner knows what he's doing. Excellent. God, Grigner will take these to sell in exchange for more alcohol. <laughs> I don't care whose they are. Delicious grilled mantis. Grigner's favorite. What is that? Harmonica. Ooh, what is that? Squirrel stew. Delicious. Grigner doesn't care if he loses karma. Grigner's not just going to be some sort of murder hobo killing random people. Okay. We're not going to be just this awful character ruining quests. <laughs> not like a Mass Effect. Grigner, there is a method to his madness. He's a thief and he's a warrior. He's out here for fine drinks, fine women, the fine men. We haven't decided yet. We haven't actually taken up. Your head just explode. Mrs. McBain. Sheriff McBain. No. <gasps> Sheriff's duster. Sheriff's hat. Sheriff Grigner. Let's have a look around. What have you got in here? Refrigerator's empty. Cabinet's empty. Place has already been ram raided. Rounds. Grigner does not understand how bullets work. Turn that off. I don't want to copyright. No, turn it off. Grigner doesn't understand how bullets work. Grigner can at least trade them. Reloading bench, never. What does that say? New council gatherings at the meeting hall. Excellent. What does that say? Wanted? The fuck is wanted? <laughs> is that Nigel Thornbury? What the? Who is that? Some like 1930s safari man. Well, here we are. Is that another escape convict? Scan. It is. Ah, oh, shit. But see, I think he might have spotted us. Oh! Hide, Grigner. Okay. Okay, here we go. Let me get closer. Man, even with this crazy as fuck armor, we're still getting kind of annihilated. Grigner uses his special attack mauler. Right oh, that was good. And, oh, we're out of action points, damn it. We just have to bash it the old-fashioned way. I'm going to make kill cams a little less frequent, I think. Good lord. I mean, it's nice to see Grigner in his element, but Jesus Christ. We don't need every goddamn kill to be a, a ceremony. This is just Grigner's day job. 
What's in this bin? Nothing. What about this bin? Nothing. Sorry, garbage can. We're in America now. Well, I think we've cleared it out, Grigner. Good work. Oh, there's a dead guy here. Hello? Daniel Wyand? Mojave Express delivery order four of six. Oh. And he was uh, one of our colleagues, perhaps, in our last life. Uh, deliver the package by the north entrance of Freeside. Take possession of the package. Bring the payment to Johnson Nash on Mojave Express. Two oversized dice composed of fuzzy material. That's weird, because we had to deliver one oversized poker chip composed of platinum. And we're six of six. That was four of six. So you must have been courier four. Maybe I'm just jumpy. <gasps> Shit. You can't see Grigner. <laughs> I was wide as three poles. My friend, it's a bad day to be you. Go, Grigner. Mauler attack. Yeet. Oh, that one didn't launch him. How did we launch it with the first guy then? I gotta, I gotta find that out. That was fantastic. We sent old what's his name to space. Hello. Oh, uh, might be a lot more people than Grigner anticipated. I forgot how large this bloody town was. Anything up here? More things Grigner can trade for. Oh, a copy of the Millsert review. Grigner could read. That would be his favorite book. Um, this is dangerous. <laughs> this is unnecessarily dangerous. Parkour. Excellent. Excellent. Good job. Good job, Grigner. Now, the other part of Prim is around this corner. Let's go and have a look. If they've taken over the whole town, I assume there may be one or two over in this direction as well. Hmm, the lit fire. Very suspicious. Okay, one by one. Sticky Grigner. Well, this isn't horrifying at all. Hello? Nobody. Maze. Whiskey! <gasps> what a great day to be Grigner. I know we've got lots in our backpack, but, you know, we've got to pace ourselves. A little bit beer! Oh, atomic cocktail rum and... Look at all of this! A field day for Grigner. Beer, iguana bits. Whoa, so they were they were interrupted during dinner. What was that? <gasps> a star bottle cap. So they were interrupted during dinner. Interesting. This house is a fucking dump. Tidy it up. Good lord. Like a university rental in there. I don't think there are any people about. Maybe these are just the houses of the civilians who have who were in hiding. Or have been horribly murdered. Hello? You couldn't believe those raiders. They stole all of the alcohol. Could you believe it? Put a light on. Oh, much better. Grigner can see what he's doing now. What is that? Cigarettes. Grigner does not smoke. He needs to be in peak physical health. Does that say Ruby's casserole? <laughs> we just stole someone's casserole. Never mind. You know Grigner's natty. This is how it goes. He would never smoke, but you know. <laughs> That's about the only thing he wouldn't do. What's in this mailbox? Baseball glove and toy car. Actually, I should be checking the mailbox in case I've had any magazines delivered so that Grigner can finally be on the level of regular people. Junk mail! No added. Junk mail number one. Okay, fantastic. Hello? Oh. Well, that's grim, isn't it? Why is it so fucking dark? Jesus, man. Cops. No alcohol in this house? Unbelievable. Unbelievable. And finally... Alcohol time. Hello? Hello? <gasps> Hello. Oh, baseball bat. Well, we've already established that terrible book whiskey for Grigner. Oh, <laughs> what a day. Uh, this is someone's someone's house who does repairs. Iguana bits, that's mine. Pre I keep seeing pre-war books and getting excited because in Fallout 3, you could sell them for a fortune. But I'm pretty sure in this game there, they're actually worthless because they're all over the place. But Vegas was never nuked in uh, in the bigger Fallout lore. Whereas Fallout 3 takes place in the in the capital wasteland in DC, so that that was nuked, but Vegas uh, wasn't nuked. I don't remember the exact reason why. I played this game in a long time. I don't remember if they were like bribed, or they had some sort of defense. Was was it Helios One that defended them from it? Was like this big laser, 
I don't remember. And there's a reason, but basically Vegas itself wasn't nuked. But it's obviously in a state of disrepair because the rest of the country got nuked. And I mean, shit, America's got towns a lot like this. And as far as I know, America hasn't been nuked. Well, hello? The Nash residence. Oh, damaged robot. Hey, you turn that radio off. Is there anything in here? Mojave Express Dropbox? Foot Locker? <gasps> I hope no one's home. I didn't really check. Uh -oh, but I assume no one else is home. <laughs> you got anything else for me? Programmers Digest, fixing things. Very nice. Dirty water. Ruby's casserole. Ruby, you have a delicious casserole, madam. Well, the only place we haven't gone then is Bison Steve Casino and the Vicky and Vance Casino. I suppose we'll start with here, but we will start that tomorrow. Grigner has had many adventures today. I mean, look at him. We've become peak Grigner. We couldn't be any more Grigner if we tried. The cowboy hat, I will admit, isn't really <laughs> doing much for the whole experience, is it? Look at that, though, huh? You may not like it, but this is peak physical performance. Good God. The man's ass is actually thicker than his fucking torso. That is obscene. Oh, and he's also, oh, he's, he's losing his buzz. So I think that'll have to do for today. Thank you for watching the adventures of Grigner. One day, we will go back and we will get that barbarian out from that barbarian club. Because the great sword is good. It just doesn't strike me as being very barbarian. I know Conan used a sword, but I think Grigner's more of the classic barbarian. Big hammer, big axe, you know, more so than, uh, than a sword. So... Let's come back tomorrow. Let's let's go through the city of Prim. This is still kind of the early game, leading you into, you know, the bigger picture of things. So once we've done this aspect, well, the world is our oyster. We'll do some exploration. We'll see if we can find those uh, weapons for Grigna. See you all tomorrow.